We are the Space Police. Disturbance in Sector 298. Kyanite is on a course for Saturn's largest moon Titan. He has no valid travel visa with an impressive criminal record. There are reports centered around a crystal unlike any other. You put two and two together. Sending coordinates. Thanks, disembodied ship voice. Kyanite again? Well, we'll t we can take care of this, right, team? Let's invite him to a pain party. Oh, planet. Oh, maybe we can have a fist buffet on the moon. Oh, wait, it's full. <laughs> I guess you were meteor wrong. <laughs> Please stop. For a planet completely covered in ice and dirt, it sure has an expensive gem. Sure, it'll take some digging and spit shine, but it'll be well worth it. And no one could stop me. That is, unless someone mildly inconveniences me in a stupid but distracting enough way to catch me off guard. Luckily, I'm completely alone. Me and Rose are going to distract Kainai. While you, you're going to go into a ship and alter his GPS and send him as far away as you can think. That won't be a problem at all. All right, Space Police on three. One, two, three, Space, Space Police! Police. Let's go. Who are you? We're the space police. Bro, do you have braces? That's not really villainous. Improved orthodontic health is plenty villainous. If you don't mind, I have villainous things to attend to. I'll be on my ship. Oh, wait, you can't. We have to negotiate something. Quick, us. jump him! Hands off my planet! Ugh. It's a moon! Ugh. Sorry for the intrusion. We'll be on our way. I'm pretty sure you have important things to attend to. Well, at least you have manners. I'll be on my ship. Thank you very much. So where'd you send Brace Face? Far away. I guess you can say he's out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because he's gonna die. <laughs> Five months ago, my team single-handedly defeated the infamous Kainite with nothing but our wits and- And fists! Rose, I'm trying to be dramatic. Anyways, we defeated him and that's what's important. Dr. Dawson changed his coordinates so he would crash into the sun and perish. Or so we thought. Dear Evil Captain's Log, a small run-in with the so-called space police has set me back in my plans. They got the better of me and tampered with my piloting systems when I was unaware. Little did they know that my home world is almost as hot as their central star unit. I escaped with only minor burns. Unfortunately, now I have to go off course to heal. I could find a way to put an end to the space police. Nothing can stand in my way. In the meantime, autopilot, set a course to 55 Cancri E. Send the coordinates to the doors by 28 degrees. The diamond planet. Those space police really did a number on me. I'm almost impressed. Almost. I'll get them. I need to get them to stop. That's the last thing I do. As much as I enjoy getting ice cream after killing Kindine, I think we all deserve a break. I mean, even Dawson was so stressed out that she froze up at the ice cream parlor when they asked her what flavor she wanted. Regardless, I just want to go home and see my family. I understand, Captain. Being around someone so awesome for so long can be tiring. Go catch your breath. Actually, I'm going to the Intergalactic Zoo with my wife today. Lame. I'm going to go water 324 of my plants. <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> you have a problem. Well, you're going to miss your flight, Captain. <sighs> Later, cadet. Snail bump. Later, dude. Don't get eaten <laughs> by any space platypi. No promises. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
Daddy, anyone home? James, is that you? I, I, I thought you were gone. I know. I will ever put you through this again. I'm going to retire. I thought you were never coming back. I want to spend as much time with you as I can. Oh, James, you don't know how long I... Red alert, red alert. We are under attack. We need backup. Rose, I need to go. Wait, I just got you back. I can't lose you again. As much as I love you, I love ju just, as, just as much. I'll be back. He's not coming back, is he? Where are you, Captain? <sighs> I got here as quickly as I can. What's the situation? Kyanite's here and he's attacking the building. Kyanite! Looks like the group's all here. Sorry I'm late, I had to pick up a friend. I'll end you, you rock! Rock? Kyanites are a silicon mineral, commonly found in aluminum- I'm gonna turn you into gravel, you pebble. You're such a thorn in my side, Rose. Looks like this rose is wilted. Captain, are you okay? Yeah, I've been through once. Are you okay? Yeah, but they took away my punching arm. <laughs> well, I don't pay. think- I don't think we have to worry about Kyanite anymore. Well, I'm gonna go fire the stress signal. So I guess I'm gonna wrap that up with. I'll go drive us to the med bay. Yes, sir. Do you think it's overwhelming being the director slash actor? I mean, it has its challenges. Uh, being a director, you know, you have to juggle a lot of responsibilities at once. And uh, being an actor, you kind of have input in your own uh, performance. So I wouldn't say it's uh, an issue. I think it's kind of an advantage. Um, do you like your role as the villain? I do like my role as a villain. You know, um, with any good movie, you have a good villain. And I like being the antagonist in, you know, our little villain. Good to know. Where do you get your ideas from? Um, well, since our whole theme was Titan and, you know, working with others on uh, a space exploration, you know, we pulled heavily from the, uh, that idea, but, uh, you know, it, it was mostly during the script writing process, most of our ideas kind of were cemented. So what do you use to record your films? Um, I just use a small handheld camcorder. Uh, the microphone in it is really good. It's uh, not as sensitive as our Zoom mics, but I feel that it's it's just sensitive enough to get uh, quality audio without you know hearing every little click in the room or the buzz of the air conditioned unit. Good to know. Well, thank you for being here today. Yes. Yeah. For a ball covered in ice and dirt, it sure has an expensive gem. Sure, it'll take some digging and. I am Kyanite's conscience five months from the given date. I've been sent to you with Kyanite's fleeting strength and final breath. I'm here to give you quite critical information about your future, so wipe that stupid look off your face and pay attention. I die? Be. I never thought I'd need to send a message back. I thought I was stronger than that. Well, you thought wrong. In 18 minutes from the current time, the space police will be here to stop you from collecting your gem. Iris Marie Rose, better known by just Rose. You'll rip every single one of her petals off her until she wilts and we're the ones who flourish. Dr. Audrey Dawson, clever girl. Maybe this time we'll challenge her mind with something new. Bullets. Make sure to aim right between the eyes. The other one? He's your killer. Captain James Elliot Williams. In five months, we'll kill you. What do I do? Stay one step ahead of them. Do not show weakness. And most importantly, don't be an idiot. Message delivered.
Not in this timeline, sweetheart. Dawson, we, we have to go back. No, it sounded like a single shot, which means there wasn't much of a struggle. She's probably gone. No. We have to get back on the ship. No. That's an order, Rose. Yes, sir. Why would he? It doesn't matter. We have to go and alert the Space Police Headquarters. If Kaina gets a hold of Titan's gem, he might destroy more than our base. Dawson is dead, and all you can think about is Earth? She's gone. It's over. After all she's done for you, that's all she gets? Everyone that has ever been in my life has left me. Orphans don't go attached to things. We adjust. Life will take everything away from you, and all you have to do is adjust. What kind of life is that? Keeping your emotions like that? You're no better than Kainite is. One down, two to go. I'll hunt them down like helpless deer out in the open. I'll avenge my former self as best I can, now that I've gotten the Titan's gem. Computer, set a course to Earth. Do you mean Earth? Because that's definitely not what you said. Computer, I'm not in the mood. You don't have to take out your emo teen angst on me. Destination, Earth. Home of the universally popular and beloved space police. Not for long. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it doesn't feel right. Titan's gem has been stolen but traced to Earth's surface. An intergalactic threat puts all possible life in danger. Level 3. All cadets descend and defend Earth immediately. Lee, I knew something was wrong. Hurry, let's go! Since you love Earth so much, why don't you marry him? Drop the gem, Kai Knight. No. I didn't come this far to get stopped by a pair of humans. I'm gonna succeed, and then I'll be a god. You'll never win. You're just a failure. No, I'm not. It's over. Now hand over the gem so we can dispose of it. I'm not letting anyone tell me what to do anymore. Rose, quickly, stay here and alert the space police. I'll take him in personally. As long as you turn him. Uh, there, Captain's log. I've flown into deep space with Kai Knight. So deep that not even the best DPS can track us. I intend to destroy Titan's gem, even if it costs my life. If my wife is listening to this right now, I love you dearly. Never lose yourself in the times that I'm gone. Someone very special taught me that. Captain Williams, signing off. Rose, space police on three. One, two. Three! Space place. Do you relate to your character, Rose? Well, she's a lot more confident than I say I would be, but she's kind of the person I aspire to be. Mm -hmm. So, did you struggle with anything? Your role? Your character? Um, I kind of struggled with memorizing lines a lot because Rose talks a lot. <laughs> so, it was kind of hard for me to keep up. Mm -hmm. so. Alright, that's nice. So, how was it like working with your crew? It was really professional. We had scenes that were really fast. We finished scenes faster than other, other people. Okay, so um, what did the jacket signify? The jackets, they had sentimental value because it was it signified the first time we got a Kaina and we defeated him. So mm -hmm. that's why we wore it. So how did it feel playing the role of a villain? Uh, I personally um, enjoy the villain because I feel that any good movie has a good uh, villain. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I, I enjoyed playing a villain in uh, our movie. How was it edited? Uh, as an editor, I found it to be kind of difficult because we had some lighting issues that we had to complete and that took, you know, an extra week to finish our film. Uh, so, you know, with our second, our second installment of Space Police, we're going to finish, uh, we're going to finish a little bit quicker and fix all of our lighting issues. Okay. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah.